I was 16 and I was going door to door in, I believe it was Fresno. And we were just, we were sell, uh, selling the soft cover books. Uh, and I was, I was praying, I was like, Lord, I, I don't know much of the Bible. I don't know anything, but I just want to, I want a sign from you that I'm doing something that you want. And so I, it was about 7.30 and it, at normally that time, we're not going to end the day. It's not going to be your last door experience, but it was mine. Because as soon as I went to the door, um, the little boy was the one who answered, but she was busy uh, finishing dishes, doing the normal mommy things. And I, I said, hi. And she's like, come in, come in, come in. I'm really busy, but tell me what you need. And so I showed her the uh, cookbook. And we were just going on and on. And she looked at me. She's like, you know what? I've, I, I'm not big into health. But, you know, what other books do you have? I like to read. I showed her, uh, it's called Angels Among Us, stories of angel experiences that have stories about angels convicting people about the Sabbath and different things. And she, she looked at me and she's like, oh, I believe in angels. And then she calls her boy over and she's like, wait, I want you to meet a friend. And so she brings this guy that she's been talking with the Bible with that was visiting that day. And they were all there just were talking. And um, to make the lo long story short, she said, little Timmy, where's, where's the, your pet? In heaven? Where's, where's grandpa? In heaven. And she began to share the story of how her, his grandpa died before he was even born and how he visits the grave. And she looked at me, she's like, isn't it amazing? And I'm like, I was kind of quiet. And then she's like, where? She kind of had a questionable look. And then the guy looks at me and goes, what do you believe? And I looked, I don't believe they're in heaven. And it, all of a sudden, it, I can't explain it, but I really believe it was the Holy Spirit just filled me. And I said those words from the worships that I was hearing from the different places. I explained the state of the dead message. And it was almost like silence in the room because they were just like attentive and listening. And I didn't even know what I was saying, but I was just in the experience too. And at the end of it, instead of getting the, uh, the angels among us that she wanted, she, she decided to get Steps to Christ and Desire of Ages and a book called Left Behind that talked about the state of the dead. And she said, you know, Miranda, God sent you here today. And we prayed together. And at the end of that day, I walked out going, wow, God can even use me.